Joe Thomas from Houston, Texas, right there, rock and roll lullaby. One of the nicest guys you ever want to meet in the business. That's very true. And um, I uh, had uh, such a good chance, not even just being introduced to him, but uh, we got to be friends, as a matter of fact. And uh, it was just absolutely fabulous. Just a great guy who does incredible concerts wherever he appears. All right, let me see. I'm talking about nice nice guys. Uh, new friend, we're hoping, uh, may drop over tonight. He's been helping Pat with some very, very heavy work. And uh, he's just a, such a nice guy. And uh, I just know him as TJ. I don't even know what his last name is. Does he even... Is, is Jay his last name? We don't know. Anyway, he's just a heck of a fine guy. Really nice personality. And um, he's going to try and show up tonight. He was telling me he had some other obligations that he had to uh, attend to anyway. Um, anyway, as we look at um, this date in musical history, composer Richard Berry the dies of an aneurysm in 1997. There's actually an awful lot of songs by uh, Richard Berry that you would know. But I kind of picked this one because we haven't played it on the air in a long, long time on the show. And it was one of his major hits. It hit number two in 1963. Here's the Kingsman with Louie Louie.
valley of the jolly. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Heard about the jolly green giant. Potatoes. He's so big and mean. Artichoke hearts. Hands, they're laughing with his hands on his hips. And then he hits you with the can of beans. Then he lives down in his valley. Russell Sprouts. The cat stands tall and green. Well, he ain't no prize, and there's no women his size, and that's why the cat's so mean. One day he left his valley path. I mean to say, this cat was mad. Now looking round, he wasn't gone long, and then he ran into an Amazon. Well, this changed his whole complexion. Broccoli. He had never seen such beautiful sight. He looked at her, and she looked at him, and she almost passed out from fright. He looked at her, thought, what a deli. He touched her once, she slapped him silly. This was something he had never sensed. He looked at her, and she commenced. Now listen, pal, this ain't no flu. I can't see going with the big green coop. You've heard about the jolly green giant. Game Don't plan. let his troubles cross your mind. Sorry, Stocks. He couldn't get solid, so went back to his valley. The cat was colorblind. Yeah, the Jolly Green Giant by the King's Run right there, too. And as a matter of fact, whoops, I got a cough switch again. Ah, uh, there we are. Uh, I just want to do, um, uh, I want to send that out to Jim Blake, who um, is a good friend of mine. Um, originally, we met at CKLC in Hamilton, became very, very good friends there, and uh, he listens to the show when he can, uh, in Kingston, Ontario, where he's CEO of um, the um, radio and TV out there, as a matter of fact. Heck of a nice guy, Jim. And um, playing the Jolly Green Giant takes me back to CKLC, because you see our jackets were green. And, uh, as a matter of fact, I, used to get, I got the nickname, the Jolly Green Giant, uh, at CKLC. Jim, did you start that? I don't know who started that. Well, you were quite a bit bigger in those days. I, I was a little bit bigger in those days. Yeah. What do you mean, quite a bit? Quite a bit. Quite a bit, okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, after they... Uh, uh, chop things off. You don't uh, you aren't that big anymore. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Um, hmm. Here's Larry Williams right now. We slow down.
Charlie Williams, one of my favorite performers from the 50s right there, the man who wrote and recorded uh, Boney Maloney, the first guy to do that. Slow Down, as you know, became a major hit for the Beatles, too. All right, listen, we've got, I've got a dedication to send out to one of my favorite people in Scotland, and that's uh, Margaret Gock McLean, and uh, she lives in Falkirk, Scotland, and she loves surf music. Well, son of a gun, Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys divorces his wife Marilyn, who is one time member of the Honeys and mother of Wendy and Carney Wilson of Wilson Phillips. This all happened on this date in 1979. Here's a song by the Beach Boys that hit number nine in 1964. <laughs> Will I dig the same things that turned me on as a kid? Will I look back and say that I wish I hadn't done what I did? <laughs> 